Hi, welcome to Go Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this YKS Zaidu Android TV box. And in the packaging, it came with a TV box, a remote control, and a HDMI cable. Also a user manual. Now, in front of the Android TV box, we got this LED indicator light. And on the back, it's like a turtle shell type of design. There are two USB ports. Currently I got my flash drive plugged into one of them. And my keyboard dongle plug into the other. Power cord is right here. And the power cord, it's actually like a travel power cord because the AC prongs, they flip, they retract. We got a network port over here, HDMI, and right over here is the audio video part. Here's a user manual, and if you want to read any part in more detail, just pause the video. And the part that I like to pay a little bit more attention to is number three over here because the remote I can program it to control my TV. Here's the default codes too. Now here's that remote control. Main power button for the device. Then if I press the set I can control anything along this. My input, my TV control, my volume control for the TV. But everything else is for the Android TV box. For example the volumes, the home, mouse, going back. It's very simple, very straightforward. It's powered by two AAA batteries, and those were not provided. Here's the about page. It shows some of the specs information. And as for the operating system, yes, that is true. It is running KitKat. It's fairly old, but it works well. If I go to update, online update, it says I'm already running the latest version. Most of these apps came with it. This one I installed myself. These I installed myself. But a lot of the others came with it. It has most basic apps, so that's why I, before I show that I have a flash drive plugged in there. I can install my own APK or I can install additional apps through the Google Play service. Let me head back to the home screen here. So I've been using it to watch a lot of streaming video and no issues. It plays great. Like Kodi works well on here too. Currently got Kodi 16.1 installed. And of course, this is a $20 Android TV box, so it's not going to perform as fast as like the NVIDIA Shield. They do have a screen mirroring app, it's called HappyCast. It actually doesn't work that well, but MirrorCast in general doesn't work well anyway. So that's, to me, that's not a big deal. Either case, I think this is a very inexpensive, good Android TV box. I love the remote control, no issues with that, no issues with the speed. Even though it's operating Android 4.4, I can still install the apps I want on it. I have no issues with any of the codecs or encoding, decoding of the video files. But I mostly use this just for watching videos. I don't use it to play games. So for $20, I do think this is well worth it, and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.